What's up, Team Kings? Nappy Foo all up on your screen, and today's Nappy Foolery video. I always wonder to myself, what does our hair look like when it's clean, when it's dirty, when it's moisturized, like beyond what the human eye can see? Well, today, we taking it there. Y'all know what this is? This is 4C hair truly all up on your screen. <laughs> Y'all ready for this foolishness? All right, Nappy Foo checking in. Lego. <music> This week I was inspired by Ephesians 3, 20. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works within us. Amen. Welcome back Team Kinks to another episode or webisode of Foolishness with Nappy Foo. <laughs> so y'all, this whole magnification thing actually came by way of Tina Young. I saw her do a video where she was magnifying her skin and I immediately thought, gotta do my hair. This did come to me about two years ago and I'm just not doing it, don't judge me. So on this day, my hair is quite moisturized. Um, could have used a little washing? Maybe so, but I didn't do it despite, yeah, how it smells right now. <laughs> I kept it moving, it is what it is. I just wanted to see how does my hair look when it is more, like it's moisturized and um, it probably could use the blessing of a shampoo, but we didn't do it on this day. I just kept my hair as it is, even though it looks like it's not moisturized to the touch, it is moisturized. Y'all know how 4C hair is. It looks dry, but it's actually moisturized or it looks dry and it is dry. You know how it is, okay? So we're gonna get into it. Kinks, when I say that Amazon has everything, it has everything. This is where I ordered my microscopes from for today's nappy foolery. I got two different ones, okay? The first one I got is a 1600 magnification digital microscope. So you plug it into your laptop or your phone and you get to exploring, okay? So the, the microscope itself comes with the LED on the end. It also comes with a USB cable as it should since it is digital, okay? Um, it does have a camera function so you can take photos and you are able to manually focus it so you kind of do need to have a steady hand, okay? And then it also comes with a fix it, a fix it stand. So basically a stand you can put your microscope on and you can kind of, you know, really focus on whatever specimen or whatever subject you're trying to explore, okay? So that's 1600. Then I went and got the one that goes up to 1000. So it's a bit of a less mag mag uh, magnification. Why did I give it? Why did I get this one? Just to have variety. I don't know. I was just curious, and I like the fact that it was. Oh, I do know why. This one can be used whether you plug it into your laptop or you do it on Wi-Fi. That's why I got this one. And I don't think I was able to find a 1600 one, or maybe I was able to, but I didn't get it because I already have a 1600. So I said, let me just try the thousand. So. I'm gonna be using two different um, uh, microscopes, one 1600 and one that is 1000. Both will show my hair and scalp in very different magnifications as it should. There'll be some similarities, but overall you will see the difference. Whoa, I think that for some of y'all, if you look down right now, your subscription button might still be red. Mm -mm. We must change that now, please. If you are liking what you're seeing so far, then join the team, Team Kinks, okay? Hit the subscription button and the bell right next to it so you are notified the next time that I am all up on your screen. Thanks in advance. Whoa, that's too close. Listen, my initial plan was to show my hair first, but things went in a different direction. All right, so here we go. I popped the cap off. Y'all can see the lights already on. Okay, ooh. You know what, let me do my skin first. I know y'all don't really want to see this, but let me try the skin first. <laughs> what? Ew. Ooh. Shall we try my nose? Yeah, let's try it right now. My nose where I have a lot of a lot of uh, white heads. Okay. Uh, that's a white head. Uh, ew, ew, ew. <laughs> was nasty. Okay, let's get to the hair. <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna do is look at my edges, okay? I've come a long way with edges. So I'm glad they you know coming in. So we're gonna start. Ooh! It's just so freaky. 
Okay, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking cool. This is just the coolest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh. Are those pimples I need to pop? Are those white heads in, in my scalp? Ew. What? I want to just touch. Like, what is that? It's just so cool. The things you see underneath the microscope, you will never see. Just in simple, unmicroscoped life. <laughs> That's not even a word, but y'all know me. Let me look at my ends. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Look at girl. You saw that clear, straight, no jagged edges, no split ends, no withered end looking in. That thing was chill. I'm sorry? Chill. One more time. Chill. Here go another one. That one look, that one cut a little jagged though, I can see. Yeah, that excitement died down real quick when I started seeing these withered ends and these split ends. I'm like, dang, I thought I had a whole bunch of healthy ends. But this also reminded me that it's been a while since I've trimmed my hair, so I'm long overdue. But yeah, y'all, so this magnification is showing me some truths that I'm not ready to accept, but... <sighs> this is dope. I found it to be so dope that I literally, with the 1600 powered microscope, was going at it for an hour, y'all. Just looking at everything, just, I was fascinated by this. So definitely went on far too long to where I was like, you know what, we'll do the 1000 another day. Cause I'm tired, I was exhausted girl. So here we are. So now we're gonna test out the 1000 powered microscope and we are gonna test this on hair that is completely dry. So as you can see, that sucker, it looks very familiar, huh? Yeah, we've all been here, okay? <laughs> yep, very dry. We saw how it looks when it has some moisturization. Now I wanna see how my hair looks when it is completely dry. I have to say, <laughs> the 1000 powered, oh, oh my gosh. I, that same excitement came rushing right back the way it did for the 1600 powered one. I was so just like amazed at how well it put me on the spot. Do you see this? Look at all this dirt is showing. Dang, exposing my life, exposing my bad habits. No, I'm joking, but no, this makes sense. I'm probably going on week two of not washing my hair. So uh, I was expecting it to be like, ew. So this is my scalp area and all of these particles and dust and build up and debris and all of that stuff. Uh, it's, I mean, as, as ashamed as I might be that, hey, this is pretty dirty. I'm amazed. I'm amazed because the truth of the matter is um, we don't see our hair this dirty from the human eye. We just don't. It, you know, it looks a little different. All right. I got a shameful truth to tell y'all. Sometimes I determine if I really need to wash my hair today based on if my scalp is itching. If it's not, if it's not itching, I assume my hair is good. But this right here is showing me lies because my scalp is not itching right now. But clearly, she needs a cleansing. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I thought I could push one more week without washing my hair. I thought I could push like just one more week, continue to protect the style, and then wash my hair before my birthday and put some braids in. But no, ma'am. She washed this stuff today. So I went ahead and ran, skipped, and jumped myself into the shower. Okay, and went ahead and got, got into my wash day. I decided to use a moisturizing shampoo because I know not everybody, to this day, not everyone uses clay. So I wanted to use a moisturizing shampoo, which is more common, so we can also see how well it cleansed my hair. Okay, so this is me just washing her. Look at her, looking all relaxed and chill. I don't know why we be hating wash day. We know it feel good. I don't know why we be tripping. <laughs> All right, y'all, hair is freshly washed. Pew. So I have nothing, I have only oil on my hair. Still wet and everything, okay? Curious to see if the moisturizing shampoo got all that dirt that I had on my head. I'm gonna start with the white microscope. I don't know, I feel like it gets the surface, it gets like the hair strands a bit better and the black one gets the scalp better. And I think when I was, um, when I got off the camera, I thought to myself, I'm gonna try to make this a regular thing. Whenever I try new products, new people, you know, by the grace of God, companies reach out to me, want me to, you know, wanted to sponsor and have me try out their, their uh, shampoos or whatever. I'm gonna put it to the test. And did you really clean my scalp? Let's see, okay, so here we go. All right, okay, I'm not seeing no dirt. Going to the back. I don't know about y'all, but that hair looking clean. 
Okay, come on, build up gone. All right, we are looking at a cleaned up scalp, y'all. Cleaned up hair. We like, we happy. You happy? Because I know I'm happy. I guess it matters that I'm happy right since it's my hair. I'm actually gonna spritz my hair with water a little bit because this section has dried out. Spritz my hair with some water. All right, now I'm gonna take my shea butter. It's the same shea butter that I made from this video right here. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you check it out because it's pretty awesome, okay? All right, gonna give me a little shea butter. Rub the hands together. You know what I'm thinking about right now, right? I wonder what my hand looked like with shea butter on it. Let's just see. I kinda don't wanna touch this to the shea butter though. All right, so now I'm gonna lock all this in. Okay, getting all that in there. I'm gonna use leave-in condition. Get all that on there. And I'm also gonna grease my scalp. The way I grease my scalp is very lazy. I'm gonna put it on all four fingers and then go right on in, okay? Put it like that and put my finger through like it's a comb and rub it on in there. All right, the remaining I'm just gonna smooth onto my hands. All right, shall we see what my hair looks like again now? Yeah, with all this goodness on here, why not? Okay. Those strands are extra glistening. So clearly all the cream and butter I put in my hair went right into the hair strands. Yeah, she's happy. Okay. All right, y'all. So this is what I have come up with. As you can see on the left-hand side was when my hair was very, very dirty. And on the right-hand side, it is completely clean with the T. 1000 microscope, I feel shows the hair strands really well. It really does. But the 1600 microscope, I feel shows my scalp very well so on the left is when she was dirty and on the right is when it's finally completely clean as it should be all the time and this is one happy head of scalp head of hair contour is happy okay happy and showing out and now we have come to the nap chat question of the day just for fun if i was to bring the this microscope to your hair right now what do you think it would look like Comment below, this should be funny, y'all. Team Kings, let's have fun with this, okay? So let me know your responses in the comment box below. I can't wait to read them. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that I am all up on your screen. Also, if you're bored during the week, come on and hang out with me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all of that, all, all, all of that. And I will catch you on the next one. By the grace of God, you will see these kinks all up on your screen again. Until then, remember my sister, my cousin, my friend, Team Kinks. Remember, in order to have healthy hair, you got to do healthy things consistently. Happy food checking out. Deuces. <laughs> if I told you you were, if I told you you were, if I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I told you you were beautiful, beautiful. If I